The All Souls Choir has an important song uh, for your religious edification and your political edification, borrowing words from Stacey Abrams, Melissa Dunphy, and Ida B. Wells coming to a leftist church community near you. Take it away. The last one's true. Your rights actually do depend on whether or not you've been convicted of certain crimes. And if you have, then you do actually forfeit some rights. Yeah. And if your ID will generally match your gender, something would have had to go seriously wrong for, you know, your big husky Hank shows up to the ID place and they list you as a woman on your ID. That, all rights depend. Uh, This is being sung by the All Souls Choir because there is always a relation between church and state. There's always a relation between the political order and religion. It's an, old, it's an older clip. This clip is from, I think, a year ago, maybe even a little bit more than a year ago. Expect more of this. this expect, forget about this being sung in some room and going viral on Twitter. There are going to be, couldn't you just see the military parades going by in the new rainbow regime where you've got the, the dictator, some kind of androgynous dictator, just standing there upright, making some weirdo salute, and then just rainbow tanks go by and you, all right, steep bend, shun, 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 Be- because all politics ultimately is theological. And uh, this, this kind of propaganda seeps in everywhere. You know, we, we make fun of the North Korean crazy communist regime for brainwashing people and the people behaving in this totally bizarre way. Conservative members of Congress screaming, furious about white privilege and girl bosses not being able to speak enough. <laughs> I wonder how... How's the brainwashing going here? Hmm. How's the re- how's the regime change going here? Maybe maybe a coup d'état really has taken place. I don't think it was the horn hat guy that led it. There is a coup d'état occurring right now in Poland. Here's the headline. This is out of Politico, the European edition of Politico. Police, Polish police arrest members of parliament as Tusk versus Duda rule of law battle heats up. So this is a rule of law battle, according to Politico between the prime minister and the president. Poland's new government faces a huge struggle to unravel eight years of rule by the nationalist PIS party. So there was a right-wing government in Poland, and then the left-wing government takes power. And what do they do? Immediately what they do is they disband the public media. They suppress the media. This, if it were to have happened under a right-wing government, you would hear calls for UN peacekeepers to show up. You, you, you'd hear that this was the total dismantling of democracy in the country. In fact, that's what you did hear when Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban instituted relatively modest reforms of the press in Hungary. Happens in Poland, they just disband the entire public media. And, and wh- what do the liberal press do? Do they say, this is a threat to democracy? No, you know what? They, they cheer it. They say, oh, this is so good. This is a restoration of democracy. Then the piece goes on. Now you've got cops invading the presidential palace to arrest members of parliament. That's bad. That's a coup d'etat, isn't it? Well, not according to Politico. In a dramatic escalation of Poland's battle to restore rule of law, 
The police entered the country's presidential palace on Tuesday evening and took two members of parliament into custody who had been hiding under the protection of President Andre Duda after being sentenced to prison for terms for abuses of power. This is the the battle to restore rule of law. And the way that we're going to restore rule of law is we're going to ban the press and we're going to invade the presidential palace and we're going to arrest members of parliament. That's how we're going to, does that sound like restoring rule of law? Doesn't to me, it sounds like totally upending the rule of law. But this is because one man's insurrectionist is another man's defender of democracy. You know that phrase, the libs always say, they say, one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. And they they say this to blur the distinction between terrorists and freedom fighters, to say, well, from, from our perspective, you know, these jihadis in the Middle East, they're terrorists. But from their perspective, they're freedom fighters. But as with the libs always trying to blur distinctions, distinctions between men and women, distinctions between one country and another country, uh, it's just totally bogus because terrorism has a meaning. Terrorism is defined in large part by uh, whether or not you target civilians to achieve political ends. That's a really basic definition of terrorism. And you can measure that. You can say, are people targeting civilians to achieve political ends? Okay, well, that would be an act of terrorism. Same here. Is a government um, contradicting what the people want, what the people express? Is the government uh, upending established norms and traditions and even laws? If so, that's not very democratic, is it? You know, in Colorado, they say that to defend democracy, we need to prevent the people from voting for Donald Trump, who's the single most popular candidate in the presidential race. That just can't be true. It's only true if you if you redefine democracy to be deprived of all of its meaning. It's a reminder. I'm, I'm not just here uh, complaining about what's going on in Eastern Europe without effect. I know that, that whatever we say about this is not going to affect what happens and the way that there is a coup d'etat in, in Poland. But it's just a reminder. You're going to hear a lot about insurrections and coup d'etat and blah, blah, blah for the next 12 months. You got to try to pull yourself out of that bubble. You got to try to pull yourself out of the fish tank, you know, the the water in which we little fishies are swimming. You've got to try to get some perspective here and recognize that the media are not neutral, that the system of laws in our civil government, they're not eternal. They're changing. They're always kind of changing. Jurisprudence, the way that we interpret the law, that's changing a lot too. The language that we use, it's not totally objective and it's not eternal. It's constantly being manipulated to to scramble up our brains and to change the way that we perceive the world. And when they huff and puff and scream and they say, all the anyone who supports the conservative candidate, they're just upending democracy. I might, listen, I might not be a Republican, but I want there to be a strong Republican party in this country. Just not that kind of Republican, not the kind of Republican. It's just bogus. It's just manipulative nonsense. And we've got to be able to see that and stand firm. And and if we're at the point right now where the Republican, the conservative members of Congress are just blindly belching up left-wing talking points, they they have no idea even what they're saying. And it's going to be very, very difficult to gain that kind of perspective and to fight back. Man, what a great clip that was. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. All my fellas who be saying we soft. Ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. See you next time.